<laughs> that brings us to match us running the numbers, which actually would have been the perfect segment right after we talked about how old we were and talked about, you know, creaking as we got out of bed. <laughs> oh, that was a segue we missed right there. We'll yeah, have to go we back and that. edit this and put it back. In <laughs> yeah. And then figure out how to rearrange the words we just said. To nah, make that sense. sounds like too much work. All right. So, much work. <laughs> so here we go. So mattress running the numbers this week. What are we talking about for mattress running? All right. So IHG. IHG has targeted promotion, which they're targeting people with different things. And um, they've targeted some people with 5,000 points after a stay or two, I don't know, 10,000 points. But the, the one I want to talk about is someone uh, was offered, hopefully more than just a one person, but we know of one, at least one person, who was offered a free, uh, free night certificate after two stays. And uh, the details are, it's a 40K certificate, just like the kind you get with the credit card. Uh, it's valid until May 31st of 2021. So that's a bit, eh, but still. Um, and the other thing you need to know is there's no reason it won't stack with a couple other promos going on. There's currently IHG is offering double points. And also currently there's a deal. If you pay with your IHG card for your stay, your first stay will get 10,000 bonus points. So, okay. So book two stays within the eligible time periods, whatever they are, um, get double, earn double points, earn 10,000 bonus points, assuming you have an IHG card to pay with and a free night certificate. What do you think? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> Why not? That's my son's new thing. He just says nah to everything. I like it. Nah. I like it. <laughs> No need, no need to elaborate. <laughs> nah. uh, well, so it, it doesn't sound like a bad deal on the surface. The way you just presented it, it sounds pretty good. You know, so that's why Greg is laughing because it sounds like a decent-ish deal. I don't yeah. like the idea of a certificate that's limited to just a few months because we got no idea what's right. going to be going on in a few months from now. Uh, you know, certainly the way things have been going the last week here or so in terms of COVID in the U.S. I, I, I don't know. I mean, things going to be open. You're going to enjoy traveling. You know, it's not just a matter of whether or not you feel safe traveling. It's a matter of what the experience is going to be like when you get there and whether or not it's worth using one of these certificates. Um, so I'm not particularly enthusiastic about that to begin with. And if I was enthusiastic about that limited time certificate, I would do the IHG ambassador, right? The intercontinental ambassador thing. Same kind of idea, right? You need two nights and then you get a free night certificate worth 40K. The difference here is you can get really cheap nights. So you get two really cheap nights and get yourself a free night certificate. The the ambassador thing though, then you get the ambassador status for I don't know, however long that is and you get yourself uh -huh. your free night, your, you know, your supposed free night certificate that requires a but wasn't that night. only good until january something or i can't remember the details think, of that deal. i think you have to travel by then but i thought i thought the certificate was good until april 30th if i remember correctly so i, I thought it was could be I'll, I'll double check while we're on here but uh but anyway so I, I i wasn't particularly excited about another limited time 40k certificate yeah. but i have a feeling that you disagree with me so i'm going to turn it over to the elderly guy <laughs> Thanks, young father. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, no. So it, here's kind of how I think about it: is the the let's let, let's talk first about the the 10k um, on your first day, the 10k bonus points on your first day. That uh, is worth, you know. I can't remember what our our most recent reasonable uh, redemption value is for IHG points, but I think it was around 0. 0.6 or 0. 0.7 cents a point. So, so you could say that 10K is worth about 60 or 70 bucks. And if you could find a stay that um, costs in that range, let's say 60 bucks, and you pay with your IHG card, you're getting double points, you're earning points with your IHG card, you're getting those 10,000 points it's almost a wash. Like it's almost like a free night. Like I wouldn't go out of my way to do that. But if you think of it as like, uh, well, that sets me up for free to now do one more stay and get a free night certificate. Then we could say, oh, all right, well then one more, let's call it 
night, as long as you make it a separate stay than the, than the other one, um, is going to get you that certificate worth up to 40,000 points. Um, so if you have a stay in mind that where that would be a decent use of that certificate, let's say 25,000 points or more, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think, I think it's, uh, a very reasonable thing to do to, to mattress run that in that situation. Obviously, like I wouldn't do it because I don't have that stay in mind. And I, I think you really need that component. You, you need to be confident that you're going to use that certificate um, before May 31st. And if you are and you have an IHG card, I think it works. I think it works. I, I already have an IHG certificate that expires like around then. So I'm not, and I, I have no plans to use mm -hmm. that. So I'm not particularly right. interested in another one, but, but let me back up to what I was saying before, because I was right. And so I just want to, you know, like kind of dig in here and say, Hey, <laughs> I was right. So the IHG ambassador thing actually is a better deal because okay. you buy membership with, I, well, I don't know if it's a better deal. Let me take that back. The IHG ambassador <laughs> one is a parallel deal that, that I uh -huh. think might be more interesting. So you, if you pay for the ambassador membership, it's what, $200 or 40,000 points or I don't know, 80,000. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Something like that, right? So, so you buy the membership and then you have to stay one time between now and January 31st and you get a 40K certificate that's valid until April 30th of next year. Now, I assume when you stay that one time, you will trigger the same 10,000 point IHG bonus that Greg has just talked about. It's still an IHG stay, right? You're still gonna get your double mm -hmm. points. You're gonna get all those things. You're going to pay a little bit more probably because you have to stay at an intercontinental or a Kimpton or a Regent, though right, right now there are some cheap intercontinental Kimptons and Regents out there. So you're not necessarily going to spend a ton and then you'll end up with also the ambassador status and the buy one, get one free night that's good at intercontinental properties in the future. So I don't think that this other IHG offer is a better offer than that. I think I'd, I'd, I would, if I were interested, I'd take the ambassador status, but I think it's, it's not the the clear winner mm. that I kind of made it sound like, cause you do have to spend $200 or 40,000 points yeah. on top of the stay, but you only need to say one time versus two. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't see the appeal in that because, because of the up, upfront costs, like, so you're, you're spending an upfront cost. That's <laughs> arguably more than the value. Well, it is, it's, it's more than the value of the certificate you're going to end up with depends on how um, much you value the buy one get one cert right i mean you right right like so so yeah, yeah so so it's a, it's a way of getting ambassador uh status for a year cheaply i guess i mean you're getting the same 40k cert with only one stay <laughs> and the buy one get one so all right so your total cash layout in your scenario you were like something like would you say for your first what did you assume you um so 120 dollars because i'm doing two one night stays that are sixty dollars each. Yeah. Okay. So you, your total cash outlay is one hundred and twenty, and you mm -hmm. end up with a small boatload of points that you're going to end up with either way, and the forty k cert. Other way around, you do the IHG ambassador thing, and your layout initially is going to be three twenty. So you're going to spend, or so I'm guessing, on one hundred and twenty. Yeah, bucks that sounds about right. Yep. Right. So you're going to spend an extra two hundred dollars, and you're going to end up with the ambassador <laughs> status too, which is the cost of ambassador status. <laughs> my, I guess my point is it's not a better deal. I, I love I love that you <laughs> talk myself you right just, in a You just slammed your own deal. I love it. Power live TV here, folks. Uh... All right. I think right. I think Nick just proved that his whole scenario is is worthless. It's so. not better. It's not better. <laughs> it's definitely not. But the, this not other better. targeted IHC one is so here's your difference. The Let's one just that Greg is talking about is targeted, and mine is not. That's true. So you, you could get an untargeted same deal. bad deal. <laughs> it's not the same deal. <laughs> More or less. More or less. Did right. you get targeted for anything, by the way, with IHG? No, nothing. Let, all right. Nothing. Let's just wrap this all up. Right. So okay. I think we've got one Made thumbs up and one thumbs down on, yeah, the, on the mattress. Right I'm not now, excited right? about it. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. One of each. Good. All right. Different perspectives from That's the old right. and young. That's right. <laughs> El sorry, elderly. The elderly yeah. and young. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Get that right.